guys, welcome back to another video on Five Acre Homestead. My name is Danny, and in today's video, we're doing a complete overhaul and a complete flip to the newest member and newest addition of the property, and that's of this riding lawnmower that I picked up off Marketplace. Now, this thing cost about 150 bucks, and at the time of purchase, it did not run, but with a little bit of elbow grease, about 120 extra dollars, we got it to its current state, and she's a running and cutting machine. Works really well. I'm super excited to have her along for the summer so I can just not push mow anymore and really think it's going to come in handy here on the homestead. So we're going to take you guys back to day one when I brought it home, take you through the process of what I did to fix it up, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, be sure to leave a thumbs up on it, comment down below, and subscribe to Five Acre Homestead if you enjoy the video, and we'll see you down at the carport. Okay, so we're just back from the auto parts store and also the hardware store because I just picked up some new uh, bolts, nuts, washers for the battery because the old ones were pretty corroded and, and gunked up. Um, so far, we spent $44.99 on the battery and then we got two quarts of 1030 motor oil for $4.69 a piece. And then for the couple bolts nuts washers we spent a buck 25 so we're in this project about two hundred dollars for the hundred fifty dollar uh, lawnmower so let's get the new battery in throw some gas in and go from there Um, I'm hoping that just with this new battery, throw a little fresh gas in there, that maybe we can get it to, to start right up and we'll go from there. So let's throw some gas in it and fire her up and give her a smoke test. just playing around with it um, it engages it goes forward it goes backwards and the mower deck engages so I'm pretty pumped and so she's running pretty good and when it's uh, full throttle it sounds really really good so uh, we're gonna change the oil next get the tires changed after that and then hopefully we'll have a, a good mower you know I don't know how it's going to cut or if the blades are gonna need sharpened or tuned up they probably will um, but we'll uh, cross that one when we get there. So, yeah. So I know I bought engine oil to change the oil in this guy, but uh, I was kind of thinking back and I, I vaguely remembered the, the previous owner of the, the lawnmower saying that he had just changed the oil. And if you look at it, it is actually really, really clean. I already checked it a couple times, but you know, 99% of new appliance buys, you know, or new engine buys, you would change the oil while doing an overhaul on something like this. But I think on this one, I'm just going to skip it and I can go right to the tires and save some time, save some money and get going on the next part. So that's why I'm not changing the oil this go around. And yeah, let's move to the tires.
Okay, so in conclusion of trying to air up the tires, it appears as if the, the back two or the rear tires are holding air and holding pressure. Uh, I'm not gonna actually know until tomorrow morning, but the front two are definitely off the wheels and not inflating. So we're gonna take those off and then replace them. and then the whole tire. Okay, so the front tires are off. The rear ones are still holding air really well. And it's been a couple hours actually since I filled them up. So I'm feeling pretty good that they're going to, to hold air for the meantime, so less money for me to spend on this project. Um, so really the front two tires are the ones that I'm going to need to replace. And I've been kind of going back and forth between, do I do it myself? Do I pay to have somebody else do it? And I actually just called up Discount Tire, um, 30 minute drive from here. And it sounds like they have them that they need to order, it only takes a couple days, but 24 bucks per tire um, so that's $48 for the tire and then they quoted me for install for like $85 I think it was so about an extra $30 to not deal with finagling tires off wheels and dealing with that mess because I don't have the proper equipment anyways um, just a couple screwdrivers is really all I have and it just sounds like it would be kind of a hassle so I think I'm going to add um, these tires paid for to be replaced and then I'll get them on and hopefully we'll have a functioning riding lawnmower that I really only put, I don't know, $285, $300 into and hopefully it'll last for a while. So I'll see you guys here in a couple days. Uh, once we get these new tires, we'll put them on and go from there. Thanks for watching. Okay, welcome back. It's been a couple days since we took the old tires into Discount Tire. Got some new ones for 80 something bucks, plus install, not too bad. And believe it or not, the two rear tires held air really, really nicely. So, um, no complaints. So we just had to replace the front and I'll run these rear tires off, off the mower if I have to before replacing them. So, not too bad. They're still in good shape and um, yeah, so let's get to putting on the new front tires and hopefully we'll have a riding, driving, cutting lawnmower. Let's get to it.
this thing scoots. <laughs> um, so we're just going to engage the mower, see how it actually cuts. The grass isn't quite ready. Uh, the backyard is more so, but I've got some dog mess to clean up before I do that, and I just haven't done it today. So we're just gonna do it right here. We've got some uh, tall-ish grass to cut, so I'm just gonna back it up, engage the mower, give her a quick uh, test, and see how she does. So it's a little bit hard to tell right now. It's a little bit tough to see it because the grass is just still so short, but it definitely cut. And you know, I actually haven't checked the blades to make sure they're they're sharp and in good shape. And maybe that'll come on a later video to, to demonstrate how to do and to do. Um, but right now I'm pretty darn excited about it. So um, we're just gonna go actually take it over to part of the field where there's actually some, some longer grass or knapweed and and mow it down and, and see how it actually cuts right there too. Well, you guys, needless to say, she cuts. So, uh, as you can kind of tell, the field looks a little bit better right behind me, but only time will tell really as to how well it does. It's just kind of the quick test that I could do here, uh, still fairly early on in the year, but she cuts. That's all I'm excited about, and I'm really excited to get this whole field mowed and actually looking good. Um, nothing drives me more nuts or more mad than tall, weedy grass um, just growing that, that can't be maintained. I think it looks like crap. And I'm hoping this old mower can maybe aid and help in making the property just, in making the property just look better. So pretty excited about it. So before we end the video, I just want to touch on cost of everything. For once I actually saved all of my receipts. But in total, we've got 150 in for the mower, $150 in for the mower. For the battery, $44.99. Um, I'm not gonna count the oil because for now I didn't actually change the oil. Let's see. For the nuts and washers and bolts for the battery terminal, we spent a whopping $1.25. And for the two new front tires, we spent $81.24. So let's do some quick math and add that up. So total, we're in this project $277.48 for a fully functioning and driving riding lawnmower that scoots, <laughs> it's pretty fast. Uh, anyways, you can't beat that, under 300 bucks for a really, really basic flip. You know, in time we'll do basic maintenance, oil change. Um, we may replace the tires someday, but for now, I'm gonna ride them till they're dead. And yeah, pretty darn excited. Uh, this is gonna be a great addition to just upkeep in general here on the property, on the homestead, and I'm pretty excited about it. So we're gonna go take it over, wash it, make it look a lot better, and probably just gonna end the video here. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to Five Acre Homestead if you like videos like these. Really appreciate the support, you guys, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching.